Well, we just launched a new website um, on September 9th, so Adobe TV version 2.0, the first website in the world to launch using a video player built on the Adobe open source media framework, which is a, a new initiative at Adobe where we basically build, or uh, we give you the building blocks for video players, so it's much faster and much easier for people to deploy rich media video websites than it ever has been before. Um, we're also one of the first public sites to launch on the new Adobe Cold Fusion 9, which is a back end technology. We built a custom content management system to deliver our content, and of course we use Flash Media Server to deliver everything. As far as online video is concerned, I think it's really the future for the way that we not only train our customers, but also educate our customers about our products. I don't think it's complicated at all for most businesses. I think that there, you know, in addition to Adobe, there's a huge ecosystem of, of companies that provide publishing platform, that provide streaming services, that across the board, I mean, give, give people the opportunity to deploy video on their websites in an incredibly easy, user-friendly way, which really didn't used to be the case. I think that's actually something that's pretty recent. I think that there's a, a, a huge trend towards using online video for internal training, for internal communications. I actually just sat on a panel here at the Streaming Media West conference with uh, somebody from Safeway. So this was a great example. Safeway uh, supermarket chain uses online video to train th their employees in over 1,800 individual stores. And I think what not only is it an effective way to, to con convey the information, I think especially where there's internal communications involved, perhaps an executive that needs to make a, an announcement to a company, I think being able to actually see the person, to see their body language, to actually get a sense of, 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 this, of this human being as opposed to, for example, reading an email, is extremely powerful. And I think with the, the Safeway example, the, the thing I heard today that I think is a great proof point for how the trend for corporate communications is working this way, internal communications, is that you know, when an executive gives a presentation on Safeway's internal um, streaming video network for their customers, and then that executive later visits a store, those employees feel like they already have some kind of connection with that person because they've actually seen them on video. They have maybe have even interacted them through a Q&A technology, um, being able to ask questions of a live presenter and a live, a live webcast. They never would have had that experience before if they were just reading a memo or a bulletin on a bulletin board. It simply wouldn't be the same, the same impact. Um, so I think, and that's just one example, but I think that um, whether it's cost savings, because most, if not all companies have cut way back on travel budgets, so being able to communicate to a diverse uh, global group of employees via streaming video, it's, I don't think it's, I think it's going to become, I wouldn't say the only way, but it's going to become an essential component of the way all companies communicate.